The textile and garment sector accounts for a significant proportion of global carbon emissions. Estimates range between 6 and 8% of total global carbon emissions, or some 1.7 billion tonnes in carbon emissions per year. The Paris Agreement sets out to limit global warming to less than 2 degrees above pre-industrial levels, with the preferable target of limiting warming to 1.5 degrees. The emission reductions associated with achieving this goal are significant. To reach this target, global emissions will need to decline by about 45% from 2010 levels by 2030 and be at net zero by 2050. Garment sector stakeholders came together in 2018 to commit to climate action through the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change or UNFCCC Fashion Industry Charter for Climate Action. Signatories to the charter commit to reduce their carbon emissions by 30% by 2030 from a 2015 baseline and be net zero emissions by 2050. This is a really significant challenge. Realising this 30% reduction in the sector's emissions would require a reduction of more than half a billion tonnes of carbon dioxide across the sector per year by 2030. This will require system-level changes in the production and consumption of textiles and garments and will likely have significant impacts on how and where garments are produced and who is employed to make these garments. In the textile and garment sector, carbon emissions occur all along the value chain, but are most significant in the yarn and fabric production phase. This phase of production is also the most environmental impact for water consumption and chemicals use. Energy use is the major contributor to carbon emissions in the sector. High energy demand comes from the wet processing stages, the dyeing and finishing of fabrics, where energy is used to create steam to heat water and also for drying fabrics. The carbon intensity of the energy used in this production is important. If it is coal or natural gas, this translates to high levels of emissions. Energy can also account for a significant portion of costs within energy-intensive parts of the value chain, such as textile mills and garment factories. So there is an economic incentive less expensive electricity bills, as well as environmental incentive to reduce emissions in the sector. The scale and pace of system-wide change in garment manufacturing required to meet targets for climate action means that there will also be significant impacts on the world of work in these components of the supply chain. Reducing carbon emission will require changes to business models alongside technological and process innovations. To achieve these changes will require investments in human and financial capital over a sustained amount of time to ensure a just transition takes place.